Hello and welcome back to Video Games. I'm Tim Rogers, president of the Video Games of America. And today, I've got a very special announcement. It's Code Vein! Available now. I'm already a vampire as far as society is concerned. Rainforests are burning, children are yearning with hunger, the climate is changing, people are dying, and I sit here day in, day out in New York City, New York State, making videos about insipid electronic entertainment for the insipid video entertainment of the adoring public. I figure, while I'm already here sucking the blood of society metaphorically, drawing enough money each month to pay god darn New York big boy rent, I might as well also become a simulated electronic vampire in a video game. And what better way to be a video vampire than one in a game that's pretty much exactly Dark Souls. Now normally, the audience gets mad when a video game quote-unquote critic says a game is like Dark Souls, though I think with Code Vein, we're going to see... It pretty much is. Oh! Hello. Some uh, naive individual in the chat said, is there something going on with the mic? Yeah, what's going on? What was going on with the mic right there? It was called yelling and screaming. Basically, you yell and scream and you have the microphone set at just kind of the right area. It just kind of... No microphones can stand it, if you know what I mean. We're going to play this Code Vein game because I'm very interested in it. Someone in the chat says... It's pretty much Let It Die. Let It Die is pretty much Dark Souls. It's uh, kind of like free-to-play Dark Souls. Free-to-play Dark Souls. So I actually haven't played this game. And I just redeemed this code for it. So we're going to see how much of a chill we can have. I, don't, I really don't know too much about this game. All I know is what I said in my joke in my video from E3 2019. If everyone remembers that one, I'm pretty sure everybody watched that uh, video. I think it had something like six or seven million hits last I checked. No, wait, it only had like 4,000 because uh, people don't like looking at me. I god darn don't like looking at me. At least I don't have to. You know, I got to do it every day, though. It's like you guys can just give me, give me a little bit, you know? So I said in that video, I said, Code Vein, what is this? It's like... Dark Souls for people who like late 1990s anime? Kaboom. This game uses an autosave feature. Okay, yeah, we got you. Man, one of these days, there, a game is going to have a big old splash at the beginning that says, this game does not use an autosave feature. And uh, I'm just going to skip through it the same as I do, and then I'm going to be surprised. You must accept the terms. I only accept terms in Italiano. Uh, Game Okay, we're not going to do that. Um, no, we're not going to do that one either. Uh, uh, no, we're not going to do Russian either. We're not going to do Antes de empezar a jugar. We're not going to do Espanol either. I was only going to agree to it in Esperanto. They don't offer that. I got some problems uh, agreeing to anything that's not in Esperanto these days. I don't know. What's this? I got a goddamn bridge I can sell you if you believe I'm going to read this. Right? I mean, come on. Oh, my favorite part is uh, the WW underscore SN underscore V2 underscore EN. That's my favorite part of that. We're going to go ahead and just agree. I got to agree to another one. Privacy policy? I got to read this. Can't not read this. Oh, P policy? It bandynamcoent.co.jp What an ugly URL to have after your at. I'm sorry. It just doesn't look good. It doesn't, right? I can't be the only one who thinks that that doesn't look good. Bandynamcoent. 
I, I, I'll agree to it, but I want the record to show I do, I do so begrudgingly. You hear this bombastic music? Uh, my data is going to be used. I'm going to select my region. North America. Just the brightness of the only the image on the left is visible. You know, we're going to not do that. I'm going to leave it at the default. I can see a little bit of the one on the right, though I know that the stream chat kind of messes some stuff up. I got an insatiable bloodthirst unlocked. Crikey. I didn't need a video game to unlock my insatiable bloodthirst. I've had that since about... Uh, about 9 o'clock this morning, if you know what I mean. And uh, we're about to sate it a little bit. Here it comes. Yeah, it's a Coca-Cola Zero. What suffices for blood in the motorcycle vampire era today in 2019. Online or offline? Crikey. This is the choice we all face when we pick up our smartphone for the first time in the morning. There's always that choice. You just drop it in the goddamn toilet on purpose. Am I right? Oh, God, that's god darn tasty. That's god darn delicious. I haven't had a Coke Zero in a couple days, so we're going to play it online. Why not? We're going to do a new game. Let's get a new game. I wonder if this game has a character creator in it. I might have seen a couple screen grabs of that on Kotaku.com. I went there trying to get information about where's the good quesadillas in my neighborhood, and instead they were talking about video games. I typed it wrong again. I can just barely hear you because I have the sound turned down for the capture card. Oh, this isn't a real person. It's I thought I was offline or online. I thought it, that was somebody talking to me. And it's actually a voice actor in the video game. Remember my name or my appearance first? Wow. Weird choice. Weird choice. We're going to go ahead and remember our appearance first. I'm going to be a female because video games let me do things that I can't do. In real Holy Lord. Oh my god, the eyes are dead, but the breasts are like bread. You see this? Are all vampires this anatomically particular? Ooh, gross, it's got like an inverted. What? <laughs> oh my lord, no, I'm sorry, we're gonna just look at her, I wanna see her. Yeah, good shoes! You see the weird sort of sock back on the shoe? And we got some knees, god, I can't get used to this inverted aim. She's got good knees. You gotta like good knees. She has like volleyball player. No, almost volleyball player knees. You gotta love volleyball. Good game to play. That's not actually where a belt goes, but I'll allow it. We're gonna go ahead and say, what's my basic appearance? What do we got? Oh, can I zoom out? Ponytail on the side of the head. Uh, The Anna Wintour look is very popular now. I saw several girls with this haircut in Japan when I was in Japan two weeks ago with the bangs like that. Uh, a little bit of the old uh, wild child look, I would call this. Um, teacher's pet. Uh, the actual best student in the class, not the teacher's pet. Uh, my best friend. Looks like a Final Fantasy thirteen. NPC. Um, oh man, uh, I don't have any criticisms of this. That's that's just pretty good. Oh, the tiny crown. So she's at, the, uh, what I'm getting from this is she is the largest person uh, in a kingdom for tiny people. That little crown just clipped onto the top of her hair. Headphones. So wait, am I mistaken? Somebody let me know in the chat. Are we, uh, am I a vampire in this game? Oh, that's good hair. Because if because it's one thing that the vampires are so goddamn bloodthirsty. Uh, though when the vampires start listening to music, they're going to get violent, right? It's going to incite them to violence. We got Mike Fahey in the chat. Say, pick one, or you'll be here for an hour. What if it is my intention to be here for an hour? And we got the David Bowie eyes going on. Uh, oh man, I hate to say this in so certain terms, though, these vampires are god darn hot. Like, I'm sorry, and not all of them, The uh, Lord. 
I should be playing this in, you know, in my mom's basement. I'm going to call my mom up, ask if she got a basement yet. I'm going to go back there. We're just going to take a look. Oh, my God. Is that a, is she an agent of stars? Sort of a princess? Uh. Oh, come on. That's a little bit goddamn nightmare before Christmas. Lord. I kind of want to say pick an aesthetic, guys, though it's like, man, how do how do you pick one of these? If they don't let you change this later, it's like, this is definitely a, uh, you know how you get a game like Skyrim and, and you spend an hour trying to make something that looks remotely human and then you fail and you see your character in cutscenes and you just want to cry for the duration of the 80-hour experience? This is kind of the opposite sort of decision paralysis, which is like, these all look really good, and I it would be fun to just, uh, in the spirit of video games, which let me do fantastical things I cannot do in real life, and go places I cannot go in real life, and kill vampires I can't kill in real life, and be a vampire that I can't be in real life. Like, like, what the heck, right? Uh... I, I think it would be fun for me to just be able to be all of these people whenever I want. We're going to go ahead and pick one. She's uh, my best friend, so we're going to actually be here. Wait, hold on. No. Wait. I want my advanced settings. How do I do advanced settings? She's definitely my real friend in real life. Oh. Hold on. What? Is daddy dead? I can just take it. Yeah, let's take it. Okay. Advanced settings. Physique, skin, hair. Okay, we didn't really need to mess with any of this stuff. Could fine tune. I got a pure... Whoa! You don't need that. Okay, hold on. Voice I'm, I'm very interested in, though. I guess let's talk. Come on. It's time to get... It was my fault. We're going to stick with the one that I gave her by default because I like her. Uh, we're going to be doing that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and say this is straight up tight. Oh, remember name. I just remember the name. What's her name? Oh, oh, oh my God. The gyro's on. Holy Lord. The gyro's on. Oh, I'm so bad at video games. I can't I can't do this. I'm so bad at video games. No, I'm just kidding. I'm great at video games. We're going to pretend to be much worse. Uh, her name is Mumby. And her last name. And I, I really don't want to spoil too much. Though this name is very important. Yes, everyone. Her name is Mumby Darvis. And you're going to have to deal with that. Take me to the confirmation screen. Wait, where's the clothes? Yeah, that is what I look like, friend. Mumby Darvis! Mumby Darvis, friend of Hungry Harvey. Hungry. I want to just shout out Hungry Harvey for that thrilling introduction he did for the stream today. That was very nice. I was hoping for a cutscene I could drink some coffee at. Lord, I've been too pampered by a... Oh, 60 frames? Bro, you didn't tell me there was going to be 60 frames. God, look at this. God darn... God darn Vivian Westwood looking floor. All right, what you want? Lord, no. I'm clear-eyed, though. And full-hearted. Is that? Look at these Phips. You see this? I'm doing a little bit of Kingdom Hearts uh, cutscene camera operation here. Okay. Open my field menu. Oh, check. My, oh, hey, everybody. I got to check my blood code. What, am I diabetic or am I playing a video game, right? That's what they call it, right? Wait, what am I looking for? I'm sorry, I wasn't listening to you because you were boring. Oh, there's my blood code. My total weight is uh, 129 over 120. 
That's too many numbers for me to god darn read. I got a god darn inflammation of the optic nerve right now. Uh, it's it's hard to read stuff from my left eye, so I'm kind of got my head turned a little bit toward the you know, the right eye toward the screen. I can't read all of this. I just need to point me at some monsters, right? Okay, that's my blood code. Yeah. I assume it would be reasonably good for combat. Uh-huh. You bestow anything upon me, I consider it a gift, to be perfectly honest. Yeah, let me try the gift. Try equipping adrenaline. Okay. Where is it? Open field menu, menu screen. Health boost. You know, the, the developers should actually be paying me, like... Regeneration. Well, what? They should be paying me something like $500 an hour. I'm not going to say what my real consultancy fee is. It's not too unlike $500 an hour. This is, uh, I'm giving you the unfiltered. Oh, here it is. Temporarily boosts attack power. We, oh, so I got like two loadouts here? Okay. You want me to give it a try? That's a little bit much. Try using adrenaline. I wish I could. There we go. Okay, okay, I got it. I got these little cords. Yeah. Special blood? Oh, man, it's one thing when a revenant forgets itself, though, uh, wait, no, it's one thing when a revenant forgets you, it's just when it forgets itself that you got a problem. All right, I can learn them. I think beware a game that, oh, I accidentally clicked the right analog stick, what happened? Oh, I just pressed the arm one button and it did not attack. Uh, circle makes me dodge. Oh my god, weak attack and strong attack are on the face buttons. What is this, Monster Hunter? One? Okay, what am I doing? You want to try to hit me again, punk? I hate that guard is L1. I wish I had my scuff vantage controller in here so I could guard with the... Bumpers are bad. Bumpers are bad. I guess I could have used my gift, is that true? Who else has got more? I say beware a game that starts a tutorial in a special zone like this. I'm just going to go hang out with whatever this thing is. I'm going to rest at the mistle. No, I don't want to skip the tutorial. That would be weird. If I know my video game development, and God knows I do, a large group of people went through a lot of work to make this tutorial. So I'm going to do it. I also say beware any narrative design that begins with a uh, uh, a rule being presented simultaneously with its exception. She says most revenants have only one blood code. You, however, are different. It's like, okay. Okay. I've acquired a new blood code. Give me that blood code, friend, bro. I'll just change that here. No longer meet the stat requirements to effectively utilize one of my things. Okay. That's two letters off of being a stranger. So that's good. Yeah. Oh, I'll switch to a bayonet, all right, bud. Up here? A Queen Slayer blade. Coming here to commit regicide. The intention inscribed in the nomenclature of my implement of war. Man, what? Okay, what? Try equipping Queen Slayer bayonet. I don't see... Oh, wait, hold on. It's in here. Okay, it's, it's, it's somewhat unclear. It's somewhat unclear. I've, uh, I've navigated some Dark Souls menus in my life, and uh, this actually is closer to Let It Die. Then, so astute uh, 
uh, observation someone who mentioned Let It Die earlier. I like Let It Die. You know, I made a commercial for Let It Die. And it, it, it sort of aired. On It was on Twitch for a bit. Can I close my menu? Okay, you, do you would like being my friend? Do you like being my friend? Do you like that? God, you're such a chump, you stupid monster. What an ineffectual brute. Okay, okay, you know what? I want to try to back attack you. I'm going to combo drain him. You guys like that? Wait, I'm not combo draining. I don't understand what I'm doing. He's just standing there like a chump. Oh, crikey. I did some Bloodborne on him. Except from... Oh, hey, what's up? Is this Cruise? Wow, I know everything about draining now. That's good. Turn your gaze inward. Caster. Code owner unknown. That's good. Oh, by now I should be old hand at switching my blood hat. I like getting a red ball warning uh, in the middle of the tutorial in the menu. It really makes me feel welcome in the video game. I don't care about him being a tutorial monster. I want tutorials to just give me rock hard, solid freak monsters. Bloodshot? Give me that bloodshot. Wait, who lives? Who's the monster? Am I supposed to turn my gaze inward and shoot myself? Oh, I was just supposed to use the one thing that was available to me. That cooldown was fast. You know what? I'm a I'm a big baby, and I'm gonna stick with this game just because it's 60 FPS. To be perfectly honest, are you near the mistle? Oh, let me rest at that mistle. Give me that mistle stuff. Oh, I can inquire or uh, inherit gifts. I can learn. 10 second cooldown, 2 second cooldown. I always feel antsy about a cooldown being something less than like 5 seconds. I feel antsy. You know, cooldowns are actually uh, a wonderful crutch when you're designing something. And I, I, I fully embrace the, the, cr the cooldown era of video games. I'm glad cooldowns have become a thing. Because video games have always had cooldowns. I mean, there's always like a... I mean, if you go back to games like Adventure Island, right? Where you could fire as many... As many... Oh my god. What is it? Man, starting your game with requiring me to deal with paraphernalia... Like, I don't, I don't want to do whatever this is. Open field menu gift assignment will be saved from blood code. What does that mean? What do you want me to do? I'm supposed to assign this? Is that it? Try using Blazing Roar. You can kind of tell what sort of game you're dealing with. Again, I'm pretty sure the actual gameplay and such is fascinating. You guys keep saying i -core. I don't know what that is. Magic points? Is that what you're talking about? Oh, we got blood veils now, too. We got blood codes, blood veils, blood hats. Give me that blood hat. Oh, you want to die? How'd you like that, moron? You ineffectual brute. Oh, I committed murder. 
Yeah, I realize that Icor is another word for blood. Someone in the chat is saying, what happened to Paul? What is with people in the chats and the comments saying, what happened to the person who's not there? We're god darn human people, and sometimes we're doing other stuff. Okay? <laughs> Lord. Okay, Cruz, I think you're cool. It's interesting how much shorter than me you are. I don't know if you're like some sort of three-quarter hobbit. Or what. Though, my gun is bigger than your body. And I'm bored in here. So let me go. Please let me go. Man, don't, don't flat out tell me to literally save the world right at the god darn beginning of the game because that's weird i'm sorry to get all critical of a video game because uh i know that my place in society is to just uncritically cheerlead every every video game and be nice and kind and positive and enthusiastic and diffusive. Wow, I love this game, guys. Like that. Though it's just weird when you start your game out with uh, a tutorial on inventory management. It tells you what kind of game you're getting into. And you know what? I'm going to spin this around. I know I'm going to like this game because they taught me the inventory management at the beginning and I'm being a big baby by complaining about it. I know that it's the kind of game I'm going to like because if they're teaching you the inventory management right up front in a specially crafted artistic void, then clearly the game has nothing else. It has no more fat on top of it. It's all lean, rock-hard roast beef, fresh from the slicer, is the rest of this video game. It's lunch meat for hours after that. So, I'm a big baby crying about my medicine, crying about the vaccination. You know what I love? Not getting the measles, and I love that little lollipop. Give me that little lollipop. Got a Coca Cola Zero. Hang on a second. I don't eat roast beef because I'm not a narc. My favorite roast beef is in that that web comic. Wow, this is a pretty good performing video game, Friend Arenos. Oh, so uh, I'm beginning the game by walking at this glacial pace. So I can rotate the camera in smooth bliss. So my character is a uh, living dead girl or what? What's going on here? The girl in white. You know, I like this game. <laughs> I, I mean, I haven't even gotten into the game. I've, I've just played a tutorial, which I complained about. Though I've, I've decided I like it. Because this level of commitment to and I, I promise I'm not being backhanded this level of commitment to <laughs> to a god darned I mean this is just it's pretty bland it's just 90s anime vampires in 2019 I love it it seems everyone everywhere is thirsty god tell me about it Tell me about it, Frando. <sighs> I love this. That's what they say. It's like, what if you added and subtracted cyberpunk to and from Berserk? It's like what this feels like. You know, you add the cyberpunk and then you remove it. Not like one... Microsecond later. It's all right. And it just leaves this weird sort of shapely hole in it. Oh my god. 
Taste my flavor. Describe its succulence to me. Using flowery vocabulary, if you will. Friend. Describe the succulence of my strawberry jam. You know, have you ever donated blood and the, uh, the person taking the blood from you? Like compliments your blood. It's like, oh, it's flowing very nicely. <laughs> right? It's like, oh, you filled the vial quite quickly, sir. Do you ever get that? You ever get that? So I actually had a blood test. Uh, I, I had to give some blood for a blood test because uh, I've recently been uh, this is for you. diagnosed with a chronic illness. And, uh, and as the blood is chuckling out the needle hole in my arm, my, uh, the, the, the technician, is it the word technician? Oh, man, just taking a nap on my girlfriend's thighs here. Uh, it's kind of weird how a new spring and a it's fresh a source of labor. <laughs> we really hit the oh, these jackweeds are going to perish. Get up. It's time for a bit of fun. If they're vampires, they're going to be double dead once I'm done with them. Someone in the chat is saying asking am I normally this creepy? I don't know if I'm being creepy. I'm it, I'm I'm just trying to Look. Look. Streaming video games, making videos about video games, it's a god darn young man's game, and I realize that I just don't got what it takes to become a real celebrity. I'm trying god darned everything, my friend. God darned everything. So I thought maybe saying something like describe the succulence of my strawberry jam using flowery vocabulary, if you will, I thought maybe that would be the, the level of spiciness that the viewers would appreciate. Finally... Finally, inducing them to show up in droves and fill my chat with words and emojis and, and, and poggers and, and whatever. And it didn't work. So I'm sorry, my friend. Stick around and we'll get to some hotter gameplay. <laughs> oh, yeah, fill the emojis. Fill. Fill me with emojis. So someone said, uh, asked me what my favorite noodles are. I like, I like hand pulled, uh, noodles. Um, I know that sounds really, uh, I, I like the Xi'an famous foods noodles, the hand, the, the, the hand pulled ones there. And occasionally the, uh, the knife cut, the big flat noodles. Just any kind of a noodle that is a, a hand-pulled Chinese noodle. I like them the more greasier, lopsided, flat, kind of the blobbier the better as far as I'm concerned. Someone asked if I've seen Tom Popo. Do you think I'm a moron? Of course I've seen Tom Popo. Excellent film. We should be so lucky to have another film that good. Oh, yeah, keep keep emojiing my chat. Do it, everyone. We got Pikachu. We got... Is that SpongeBob? I can't see from too far. Well, it's one thing to be a revenant, but to be an arrogant revenant. That's not the kind of revenant that wins Academy Awards. The revenant that wins an Academy Award is the one who screams and cries a lot and gets all sorts of mucus in his beard. Whoa, did Moobot say that's too many emotes? Dice Game Uchiha warning? No, it's not too many emotes. Did you... Oh my god. We've got an auto mod Narkbot in here deleting emojis from the chat. Oh man. We got this sexy boy back here with this uh, can't find the buttons at the top of his shirt. She can't find the rest of her shirt. So many people here wake up and get dressed in the dark. When you live in a coffin, you're always getting dressed in the dark. Am I right? Oh, we got Sans and we got Garfield in the chat. That's good. Show me your favorite emojis. 
Oh, so wait, I came out of the hole, now I'm back in the hole? Hey, you okay? Am I okay? I'm over here wanting to play a goddamn video game. I put my pants on and I got on the subway train this morning so that I could come into this office and play a video game. And instead, I got a guy who doesn't know how to put his jacket all the way on talking to me in a hole. Oh, wait, we're back. Yeah, I know how to rest at the mistle. I already did that. Dead lost. Dead, but they're not really dead. Oh my god, what is that meat hammer you've got? You get a god darn brontosaurus tenderizer? You gonna keep talking to me? Yeah, whisper that lore into my right earphone. Oh, you wanna die? Did you say blood beef bonanza? Oh, my automated buddy is just particle killing these monster freaks. Oh, I wanted to do a back attack. His meat hammer is ending these guys faster than I can. A lost shard. So we got our masks on because we're vampires who we can only breathe blood. We can't breathe oxygen. Okay, finally we're playing the game. This is good. That's the drain button. I have O, I can do a... Did I just call the circle button O? I didn't want to rest at the mistle. Gad dang. I'd rather just chill than rest. Okay, I do not have enough haze. Haze, lost shard, blood. Guess it won't open. Oh, well, crikey. Do you have an, any ideas? You're, you're willing to kill the monsters for me, though? You're not going to tell me where to go? You ever feel weird when you have an AI partner in a video game who is, uh, like, exists ostensibly to inspire you? Oh, the enemy's replenished because of the mistle resting. They exist ostensibly to inspire you, to show you the platonic ideal play style. Yet, when it comes to getting lost in some goddamn labyrinthine level designery, they just stand around and whisper canned lines at peculiar intervals. I wonder where we're supposed to go from here. And then they're silent for like 20 more seconds as they stand there breathing. Okay. Upgrading and... Wait, hold on. HP can be recovered. I want to read this tutorial, but I got a goddamn monster chasing me. I'm trying to read the toot. Can't do so because of the monst. And I let Brainhammer get another kill in the process. Okay, what? So the number of regens, amount of HP can be recovered, increased regen extension factor and regen activation factor. Oh, the tutorial closed itself. I'm trying to look at chat. I'm trying to monitor my god darn video levels. I'm trying to read the god darn... Oh, man. Equipment and equipment restrictions. Each piece of equipment has stat requirements and weight exceeding your weight limit restricts your ability to dodge attacks. Not meeting the stat requirements greatly reduces your decreases your attack power. Equipment can be changed from the menu screen. Both a main weapon and sub-weapon can be equipped. These weapons can be... Okay, let's give me that sub-weapon. Oh my god! I got a god darn concrete box. Give me this stuff. Which way do I think is better? You know, you asked me that ten years ago, I wouldn't have had an answer, and I still don't have one. I pressed the god darn... I pulled the god darn R trigger. Retrieving haze. You lose any haze in your possession when you die. I got haze. I got lost shards. I got blood. I got equipment. Reactivation. Revenants. They might as well just make a video game called Vampire Accountant. You know, I don't like this weapon. Focus state. Your focus gauge fills as you get hit with dodge enemy attacks. Your stamina will be replenished. Stamina, focus, haze, uh, blood code, blood hat, launch attack. Okay, go for it. No, I don't want to. Man, Oliver's too strong, dude. Oliver, you know, he's a bit of a god darn go hard. TBH. Uh, I want to put my lost broadsword on. How can it be a lost bro broadsword if I found it? Oliver, help me. 
Okay, good. You can really chain together multiple... Uh... My current level of uh, distraction is we got this new uh, Elgato HD 60S Plus, which lets you stream in 1080 60 and it has a true 4k hdr pass through so that i can enjoy 4k video game graphics on my tv while streaming and i'm just i've got the computer monitor right next to the tv screen and i gotta say through that usb c port usb c to usb 3.0 it is pretty lag free on the computer, I could probably play this 60 FPS video game off the computer monitor using the USB port like an HDMI port. Interesting. What are you talking about? What? Are the, the masks have types now? Blood beads? What what are god darn blood beads now? Wait, I am I just gonna walk right at this guy? Couldn't I back attack him? Yo, bro. Come out here. I was waiting for the Okay, here we go. I'm gonna back attack this punk. Oh, you punk nut. Get him. Oliver. God darn, speaking of the teacher's pet. Ew. I got a slime. Someone in the chat asking, did I beat Dragon Quest Eleven S for Switch yet? Lord, no. I may be somewhat more intelligent than other people, and I may be uh, a hard worker, though I'm no god darn miracle man. I got like 18 things in my life going on at the same time. Contract work, chronic illness, massive headache. During exploration, you can... I, I don't have time to play a game for 80 hours. I'm going to play it and I'm going to enjoy it. I'm going to sip it. It's a sip and drink. What could that be? During the exploration, you purify miasma in the area. I can purify miasma to activate a mistle? No. Activate a mistle to purify miasma. That's good. So there's three ways to purify it. Oh, I can just purify this one by itself. And the surrounding areas have been mapped. Okay. I'm sure this all makes sense once you're properly orientated. Trial by fire and such. Oh, oh blood veils have effects. That gifts and drain attacks. Crikey, I feel like there's more stuff going on in this first hour of this game than... Okay, I can rest at the missile. More stuff going on in the goddamn first hour of this video game than I learned in college, pretty much. Okay, let's do it. Level me up. Invigorate my body cells. Increase my combat abilities. I'm ready to ride. Okay, I did level up. Just making sure the feedback wasn't perfect. Let's take a nap. Yes, I said orientated. Uh, because uh, that's a, a funner word to say than the proper one. If you understood me, we're talking. We're speaking a language. So that's how it goes as far as my linguistics professor told me. You know, you go take a linguistics class and you learn about morphemes and whatnot. That feels more... Uh, feels easier to understand. More simply paced, tastily laid out than. Whatever nonsense I endure here. Oh, awake MJ018. Alright. We're gonna blast this. Alright, freak hugger. What do you turn around for immediately as I approach you? Oh, looks like I've got the brain hammer now. Just killing some more monsters. Just trying to get my feel for the monsters. Give me that. Oh, a yellowed book. Somebody pee on it? Like, what's going on with that book? I know you're a monster, but are you my friend? I couldn't, uh... 
Oh, the pumping music tells me that I should be uh, worried. So what, this is like Dark Souls where you just kind of don't die? Like, I don't get it. It's like Kindergarten Dark Souls? Clark Souls? What is this? I'm goofing around. I'm like trying to perpetuate the stereotype that people who do the sort of thing I do are not good at video games. I tried to die, much as we all do in life every day by going outside. And I didn't. The game gave me god darn nothing. Give me those geisha noodles. Not my favorite type of noodle. Dark Souls for kids. Yeah, that's what this is. We're gonna go up. Whoa, you got timed out for 10 minutes? Dice game Uchiha should not be timed out for 10 minutes. That's a god darn rage and a fury. Information about the controls and hints and explanation can be viewed any time to read hints on the menu screen. Crikey. The hints so nice they tutorialized them twice. In case it's unclear, I did backtrack on purpose because I just wanted to. I know that the monsters reset when you rested a missile. Hey, Oliver, can you handle this? Because I'm going to die. We're at a disadvantage here. Are we? Are you not some freak who can kill anything? How committed is this tutorial to making me feel weak? Oh. What? Oh, didn't they pass us earlier? Are you okay? Did you get hurt? Ooh. Wow, Oliver, uh it looks like he wasn't gonna get punked there, and then he did get punked. All right, all right. Maybe if he'd put his jacket on all the way, he would have fought more strongly. I'll catch up with you in a bit. <laughs> don't worry about me. I'll be all right. Go on. Yeah, don't worry about him. I wouldn't worry about him if I were somebody. Some blood beads, all right? That girl is waiting for you. Just focus on getting some blood beads. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> that's kind of what I'm always up to. Man, I like my weird anime eyes, my yellow cat vampire monster weirdo sort of eyes going on. Okay, well, Oliver's gone. Is there a mistal for me to rest at anywhere near here? Oh, I got a chemical light. What? I thought we were uh, at some sort of a plot zone. Instead, you're going to tell me there's monstos? What's this? Actually, that monster was heck a week. I probably could have owned him. Ah, eh, maybe not. That was so weak. But I love it. God, the 60 FPS is just incredulous. Uh-oh. Like that effect down there. That's good. Okay. You know, I don't have to talk to you. I gifted myself. Wait. Hi, I'm here for some blood beads? Did you just yell at me? <gasps> oh, I didn't realize that my guard was going to be so ineffectual. Everybody's so thirsty these days. Oh, are you hunkering? Oh, no. This hunkerer is definitely not right for me. <gasps> oh, finally, Code Vein has told me to die. I don't like that big dude. That big dude's weird. Oh, I just went straight to the dead end. Oh, you want to be my monster? Oh, you guys are punks. This is some goddamn Flintstones nonsense here. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and heal myself. 
I don't know how many. Oh, what? Okay, you know what? I don't like you. And I think you should die. Did she just say he's a brute? Oh, he just tumbled off the hillside and evaporated on the ledge. All right. Where's big dude at? Where's that big dude? Oh, hey, how you doing? I didn't get any blood beads for you yet, because I don't like you. Hey, what's up, Scream Boy? Don't yell at me, Mom. Oh, wait, he, wow, he died fast. Oh, Hunker Bunker is still here. You want to get hungry? Eat my blade, punk. Weird elephant mouth looking elf. God, he died like an idiot. What kind of a fool would die so cleanly despite presenting himself with such largeness and toughness? This thing doesn't have any blood beads. I'm a box-breaking kind of individual. Here to crunch and crush my way to an early funeral. Look at this monster swinging his sword in the dark. I wish it was easier to toggle my targets. Oh, my sword is not as long as I thought it was. A flurry of strikes. Again, uh, my sword length, not exactly what I thought it was. Is there some sort of a block guard repost reflect I can do? Come and get me. Oh, no, not really. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out when the game quadruply tutorializes it at me. Uh, give me whatever this is. Ooh, I got an Awake MJ018. That's actually pretty useful to have. So the weird thing is, Bloodborne, Dark Souls, like, what? Those were like video games for people who, uh, who are like into cool stuff. I don't know if anybody noticed this. Uh, like, like my buddy who is a... Oh, stop it. I just healed, you moran. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm all out of heal. You can stop the heartbeat thing whenever you want, by the way. I don't mind. What? You know the whole god darn... I'm dead now? I'm dead now? I can't god darn hear anything because of this stupid you're about to die effect. These god darn you're about to die video game noises and effects need to calm down. I'm going to go reclaim my stuff. Look at this mini map up here. I don't know what any of that is. Oh, that fool died like a fool. It's just free lunch meat out here. You don't even have a sword. You're going to come at me swiping your stupid moron talons? Die, gas mask ghoul. These below average intelligence revenants perishing beneath the shiniest part of my blade. All right. That's not a mistal. Something else was a mistal. Uh, I'm going down here. No, I'm not going down here. God. I'm sorry. There's there's no landmarks for me to look at here. And my head hurts so bad. I can feel my god darn heartbeat in my teeth is how bad my head hurts. Oh, he's just chill, boy. He's just chilling around. You know what? I'm going to admit I didn't like you the first time, and I'm not going to like you this time either. I gave you a superfluous extra stab slash as you perished. Hey, elephant man. Your sword is big as you are dumb. Don't hit me. Come on. 
That is straight up not cool. Wait, what? He's not dead? I'm sorry, I'm really bored with this guy. So I didn't think he was going to actually hit me at all. I thought he was dead. Okay. Uh... Okay. I can't believe that I get I got hit like five or six extra times. Because I was convinced that he was already dead. So that guy basically just yells and then dies. That's his Give me that dagger. Oh, so we got a couple of monsters coming here. I'm gonna adrenalinize myself. Oh, I thought you were gonna yell at me first. Ooh, nice big old halberd you got there. Your battle cry will not save you, punk. Your battle cry impresses me on a musical appreciation level. However, it does not harm my stamina or my willingness to kill. And what was I saying earlier? I was saying, uh... I had a friend who, uh, just a guy knows everything about all the best metal music. If you need an opinion on metal, go to him. His, uh, he has a Twitter account, which he uses exclusively to express opinions like, there's no worse feeling in the world than when you really love a metal band at a show, and then a guy starts singing words you understand. And he's right. Words are nonsense. Words are trash. They have no place in real music. That's why I originally, as a youngster, got into music and languages I didn't understand. You get into the Swedish stuff, you know? How Swedish it is, you'll say. Anyway, this guy loves the Dark Souls games. He wouldn't be caught dead at the kind of parties where people, you know, crank 8-bit music. Or attend museum art galleries of Super Nintendo character designs. I just back attacked some guy and made him vomit blood out of his lower back. I'm not even locked on to you because you're so weak. I'll lock on though. I locked on. I give him a courtesy lock on right as he perished. Give me whatever your lost bayonets are. Oh, I got a regen extension factor. That's actually going to do real good later when I take my CPA exam at Vampire School. Shout me out in the chat if you ever literally became a CPA because you were being audited by the IRS and, and couldn't afford. Uh, oh, yeah, you're the guy who done dropped on me before. You freak. I probably have some sorts of weapons that could deal with these individuals on a more uh, visceral level. Okay, Kryko. Me do the heal because I hate you. And I hate dealing with the inconvenience of your sliminess. These crystalline, gelatinous, amorphous, yet violent blobs sure did die just like the rest. Anyway, my friend, yeah, he loved, uh, he loves those Soulsies, you know? So I feel like Dark Souls is video games for, uh, again, you know, there's some hardcore gamer butt video gamers, who, uh, you know, real game-liking individuals who have pixel art tattoos and such who play all the way through a Dark Souls, though I saw some wild crossover as that series grew longer in the tooth. It's not quite long enough in the tooth, as far as I'm concerned, because I say give me more. I saw, th there's some hardcore game likers who like those games, and that's fine. I mean, I'm, I'll admit, I come from a place, from a long tradition. A long tradition. Of just loving video games in their crustiest, chunkiest, oldiest forms, right? So when I come to Dark Souls, I come to Dark Souls appreciative of elements of it that remind me of games like Legacy of the Wizard and Xanadu and, and God Darn King's Field and Castlevania 
and I'm approaching it from Rondo of bloody in terms. Whereas my friend, he came to it as a owning the opinion that as soon as a guy starts speaking words, you understand a metal song becomes complete trash that they should just put on the radio, no matter how hard and loud and sludgy and filthy it is. He doesn't want to hear god darn human English words in his sludgy, disgusting music. He'd rather hear no words at all or belligerent screaming. And you know, I'm I'm one of the same mind with him. Maybe I'm a bit of a of a of a dual blood code owning sort of individual to be of both of those opinions at the same time. I have opinions, my friends, that I do not express in my videos. Because Oh, I'm I'm give me level six. I'm on level six now? Oh, I think I've just leveled up my fighter blood code. Nine seven six. That's a that's one of those numbers that we don't celebrate enough. We got that four twenty. Anyway, yeah, metal. Metal, bro. Wait, save and return to the title screen? Why would you return to the title screen when this is so much more interesting? Okay. Um I need to... Oh, you're just a dead freak, not a living punk who wishes to d inconvenience me. Are you alive? Are you a fellow explorer? It appears you're alone. I'm not alone. I left a guy in a gas mask who couldn't wear a jacket back there. The oh. What do you say? Would you mind working together? At least until we're through here? I don't trust a revenant stranger. Or a strevenant ranger. I'm going to go ahead and say yes. It's weird how American everyone is. You would expect them to have these weird, whispery British accents. Glad to work with you. Like that. You would expect them to talk like that. And also for there to be like a god darn half a Pacific Ocean of reverb on his voice. That's just what I expect from an NPC whose mouth I can't discern the movement of. Anyway, yeah, my friend who loves metal. Delicious McCune, I call him. God darn guy loves the Souls games. And he doesn't just love them. And, I mean, he's played some games before, sure. Though he's not what you would call... He doesn't read any blogs about video games. I'll just, we'll just leave it at that. He's just an individual who uh, is heck of chill. What?! So the drain attack is sort of like a lock-on snap too. So what I'm saying is this game feels more so than other games of uh, that are cut from a certain cloth. It feels like some sort of an effort to give Dark Souls back. Like I feel like my my metal buddy would think of this game as having lyrics he understands. Kryko! If you want to kill me, you better god darn pack a lunch. I need to use one of my adrenaline, or my urges, or whatever they're called. My desires. I'm gonna die. My urges, my desires. God darn it, I'm trying to talk about wonderful things here. Someone asks, how is the level design in this game? I gotta tell ya. Um, I think Dark Souls has, like, some of the best level design ever in anything. And so far in this, I'm just kind of seeing corridors. Not that I, not that I dislike that, because, I mean, I'm having a good time. I'm, okay, so I have to get through my, uh, I have to, I don't know what the word is. I was going to say, nori koeru. Sorry, I just spent, like, two weeks speaking Japanese. I, I don't, uh, know the English, the get through overcome my feet overcome there we go climb over is the japanese word nori koiter i have to nori koiter my my feeling uh my of fear about this menu because i don't understand an activator used to awake dormant abilities in a blood code okay what do i do with that a special mineral developed from the queen is to greatly enhance equipment Hammer of Thraldom. Heavy Axe.
Okay, hold on. Okay, so I can actually use my heavy axe now. Okay. Okay, so I can I can get a little bit of fight there. Get a little bit of fight. Let me see what else we got. Um, adrenaline. Can I... So I mean, just a little... Can I hear what this does? Temporarily boost attack power. Okay. Spend your own HP to restore the HP of companions. Not a chance I'm doing that. Uh... Uh, triple annihilator. Unleash a combo on a nearby target. Okay, triple uh, two-handed sword hammer. Is my current sword a two-handed sword? Do I have another one of these? I don't. Uh, do I have some of these pertinent gifts? You do not have the pertinent gifts, Lord. If I had a goddamn nickel for every time I saw that in my life, uh, I'd have a couple hundred bucks right now. Uh, you know, figuratively on the HUD of life. Health boost is on my down button. Wait, is it? Increases maximum HP. Can I use that? Wait, where is it? So I have these four. I have these two cords. When I hold the R2 button, I have these four abilities on my face buttons, four abilities on my D-pad. How do I configure the ones that go on the D-pad? I just put them in here, but I don't have anything. Okay, so that's, that's nice to know. It's nice to know that I have my two... MOBA style, Kingdom Hearts, battle system, quick commands, mapped onto a little little big boy thing. We've only got 10 minutes before I have to end this stream so I can go sit and think about the video game I'm developing during an hour-long meeting. At which point I'm thinking I want to go home. I want to go home. Who wants to go home? If we all go home at the same time, nobody can say nothing to us, right? Once again, it seems the solution was Mr. Battle Axe. Enemy above us. Oh, I just shared my HP with my companion. Did I use the wrong one of my three inscrutably graphical abilities? And now I'm just going to die? You know what I really want to do is I want to play Control. I had to give up playing Control so that I can play Dragon Quest. I really wish I had some HP restorative. I can't believe I accidentally healed my friend. I wanted to heal my I wanted to heal my or uh, to turn on my adrenaline ability, increase my attack power. Wait, did we win? Let's use it well. What are we won? Man. I must be a coward because I am craving more challenge out of this. Let's climb up. Nothing like the steampunk sound of a heavy metal cast iron big boy bronze ladder. Oh. This particular virtual simulated individual thought that they could traverse this insignificant appearing gap simply by walking off the edge of it. I did it! I won't take long. I'm getting my old demon souls roll. I just want whatever this glimmer is. So yeah, I feel like my buddy Delicious McCune would see this game and think it's more of a... It's the video game equivalent of a metal song where he can understand the lyrics. And Delicious McCune, he eviscerated Bloodborne. And we're talking for a guy who plays like one or two games every two years or so. He just got a PlayStation 4 and Bloodborne and bonkered through it. I went to his house. He had his USB drive plugged in and he had just some real god darn Scandinavian stuff screaming out the speakers and he is just bonker holing through it. You know? Burrowing through it like a god darn donkey met a beaver bred and birthed a sort of a weird spiny prickly mole creature beast capable of torpedoing its body through solid granite. He ripped through that game. Ooh. Bite the fruit. So yeah, guy who barely plays any video games played Bloodborne, played all the Dark Souls. And you know why? Because, I mean, okay, Bloodborne and Dark Souls are hardcore if you're a game liker. Though, 
They're actually, I'm not going to call them casual, though people who barely play video games might actually play those a lot. And in my observation, they there's a lot of non-dedicated game likers who blaster storm their way through a Bloodborne game. The surrounding area is mapped because I have rested at the Mistal. We're going to go ahead and get me back up to 976. Get me back up there. Do I have enough for a level up? Ah, oh, we do. 1,001. From the area code of phone sex operators to my favorite number of Arabian Nights. Shahrazad would be proud to see what my axe wielder has become as we arrive so gingerly, I would say, alighting our toe tips upon the end of this stream. A glimmer in the distance beckons me. Oh, you can't satisfy my hunger. Did you just trip and fall unto me? You belligerent yet unintelligent monster. Wait, we're supposed to go back to Big Boy? Captain... Captain Fun? Whatever his name is? Ah, uh, my companion can teleport to claim the kills before... I can exercise my skills? I see one edge of my mini-map connecting to the other. So many discarded corpses with... cleavers embedded in their meatloafs. Oh, I got Icor concentrate. You wouldn't come back after falling down there. Falling down where? Is there a first person look? There's no first person look, so I can't dramatically look down and say, Huh, yeah, you're right. Man, I've been reading those goddamn Witcher books. I've read the Witcher books before, but I'm reading them all again, because you know. If I had a military rank, it would be Captain Big Boy, and Captain Big Boy knows one thing and one thing only, and that's get satisfied by some sort of a visual brain entertainment. Oh, Elephant Man's back. Go back and play the keyboard in the god darn Jabba's palace, you moron. A thorn of judgment now? We got more jargon? They should god darn sell this game with a special edition of Webster's Dictionary for Weirdos. So that I know what any of this stuff means. Crikey. I'm getting hungry. Packed myself a lunch this morning, which means exactly about as much as you think it means. My lunches are depressing. What was I talking about? Elegant Aardvark asks, do I speak arrogant Arabic? How dare you? Of course I do. It's an extremely common language. It's not that weird. Though I did just, uh... Back on the surface, again. Back on the surface yeah. Wait! Was I not supposed to do something? Was I not supposed to do something? One of the things about speaking so many languages is like, just eventually they just don't make any sense. Words are dumb. The only, the only joy you really get in life, again, is just listening to some disgusting metal music with lyrics you just cannot possibly understand. Listen to my buddy Delicious McCune's band. It's called Yarrow. Y-A-R-R-O-W. They're good. I mean, he's actually in several bands right now, and they're all very good. He went from a guy with a mouth and some money to a guy who put it exactly, put them both in the same place. So, oh, some guy's freakazoiding out here. Was I supposed to go back and, and rescue Oliver? Wait, this is Oliver. Is this Oliver? Oliver Collins. Wake me up when you find Oliver Collins. Blast bag. Okay, this guy is not my favorite guy anymore. 
I'm going to heal myself. What? Physician. Heal thyself. Maybe I should just let the stranger handle this. Do I have the blood code for stranger? Or just the blood code for ranger? Uh, once again, can't pause the game. You can't pause. This action's too hot. I like the idea of having party members. I like... Whoa! Oliver done brung a goddamn tornado, and now he's turned into a weirdo. What? Oliver! Oliver's at half health, and he decides to just throw a tizzy. What is this? Are you a revenant, or are you a lost? I'm confused. Are you a movie starring Leonardo DiCaprio, or are you a TV show brainchilded by J.J. Abrams? I've been re-watching Lost lately. I'm not going to lie. I put it on one night as a joke. Ah, no joke quite so practical as those we play against ourselves. And now I'm on season one, episode 23, the finale. Just put it on in that... What's that thing called where you're tired after an airplane? Jisaboke. Yeah. I had the Jisaboke. Man! I'm trying to tell a colorful narrative. I'm trying to weave a tapestry out of these word threads. You're here telling me that I'm going to die? I gotta admit. Good graphics. Oh, the greater lost has been dispersed. Big words showing up on the screen. Just big red words. What happens when I die? Is it going to tell me I died? You perished? Is that what it's going to say? <laughs> you perished? She's all right. Anyway, I keep trying to make some... I had some point about metal music and Bloodborne. And I'm saying Bloodborne's pretty metal, dude. Bloodborne is pretty god darn metal. This is like... I don't even want to say it's Visual K. I mean, it's good. It's a good action game, and the world building has drawn me in, despite whatever mealy-mouthed protestations I may have uttered during the former half of this stream. Whatever nonsense I've been shooting with the air gun of my mentality throughout the latter half of this stream. The world building has drawn me in. And I say no world is built quite so well as that which runs with the silky smooth efficiency of 60 rock solid frames per second. How do you get frames this god darn rock solid? Look at that. I see minimal tearing. It actually looks better in the little window on the desktop. We got somebody saying the game is uh, hardcore screamo. It is a little screamo, a little tiny bit screamo. I feel like it's a little bit more of like uh, every once in a while, the uh, the narc machine, as we call it, the narc machine of pop music. Wait, what are you? First of all, I don't trust pop music. I don't trust anything that calls itself popular. Whenever the narc machine of pop music picks up on the stylistic affectationals of anything hard, loud, weird, gruesome, brutal, tries to say this is metal or whatnot, you know, like a boy band all dressed in black and plaid, this game is god darned. What is it? Marilyn Manson. We're all stars now in the dope show. That's what it is. And you know what? Fair enough, right? Marilyn Manson. My Chemical Romance. Right? Right? Meanwhile, I'd argue that Devil May Cry is actually... It's metaler than this game. Again, no one, first of all, if you're just tuning in, nobody on the development team 
you know, whipped it out and yelled, this is metal. Our game is the most metal video game ever made. Nobody, nobody said that. I'm not, th this whole distinction of daddy and mommy, yeah, nothing gets me going in a video game like daddy and mommy. So it's like nobody, nobody made any insinuations either way about metal in this game. I'm just thinking, I'm just trying to say like Dark Souls is metal. Even if there's no electric guitars in the game, there's no metal. Devil May Cry is Iron Maiden. Yeah, they're a little bit Iron Maiden. And I'm just saying, like, Dark Souls is, like, real metal. Dark Souls is, like, goddamn mayhem. Razor. Metal church. Look, I know a lot about metal, and I never talk about it. We're not going to get into it, okay? Uh, Brutal Legend. Brutal Legend is like, uh, it's like Ozzy Osbourne circa 2005. <laughs> that's, that's what Brutal Legend is. Uh, <laughs> uh, what I really want, is like, like, you know what Dark Souls is? Dark, uh, Bloodborne, Bloodborne is Ningen Isu. That's Bloodborne. Bloodborne is Ningen Isu, the video game. Oh, God, I love Ningen Isu. And this game, you know, whatever. Whatever, man, it's good. The world building has drawn me in with its 60 frames per silky second. I live for god darn frames. And when I die, I will not be hungering for frames upon my coffin top. It was a wow. Carved into that yeah, yeah, her eyes are up there, camera. Who left it behind. I didn't expect that I'd get dragged into it, too. You ain't seen Ningen Isu. You ain't heard Ningen Isu till you've seen them live. Till you've run into the lead singer at the supermarket by your house. What a power. And then you'd seen them live in a basement. And uh Come with me. Just almost died like sixteen times over the course of like eight minutes. I'm Louie. I'm researching blood beats. I didn't expect you to take your gas mask off and say I'm Louie. You're researching blood beats? Uh, do, you, do you know where the uh, tutorial tab of the menu is? Because I learned that recently. I can help you. Fade to black. Thanks for playing in the Bloodborne font would be real good. If it just said thanks for playing in the retrieved Blood Echoes font. <laughs> Wouldn't that be good? Oh, we got blood springs. Blood drops. Blood melons, blood echoes, blood beads, blood fruit, blood meat, blood shoes, blood hat, blood code, blood feet. This game's got a little uh, bit of an obsession with the red stuff. And I'm not talking about cherry Kool-Aid. I just want to turn this off because I got I to gotta go to this... Uh, this meeting now where I'm scheduled to uh, I'm scheduled to wear my sunglasses and uh, the red uh, showed up a short time after just basically keep my internal brain notification on for mention of my first name and when it did it trapped everyone and everything inside kindergarten bloodborne someone is saying yeah I'm not gonna say you're wrong but I'm also not gonna say that I don't love kindergarten the jail of the mists. The creatures trapped inside the miasma wander in a never A miasma? I really wish this guy had a British accent. And it sounded like he was talking in like a meat locker. Can I eat that or what? Whoa! Is this the hub? Are those blood taps there? For me to fill a Big heavy blood stein with blood brew. Terrified of losing themselves. It's a common fate these days. Everybody should be terrified of losing themselves. You lose yourself, what else have you got? You cleared the miasma and revitalized the blood spring. Yeah, because I'm cool. 
I've got something going on where I have multiple blood codes. Well, probably the same place I learned to have multiple blood codes. You've forgotten? Anything you do remember? Gotta love a game that starts with your per person with amnesia so they can teach you everything. So much of your memory. I suppose it was the same for her. I think I'm gonna go in my office and blast, uh... Uh, I haven't listened to that My Chemical Romance album. The Black Parade. Like, since it came out. Because I remember, like, a person who I trusted about music... A guy who I was in a band with was like, oh, this album's pretty good, actually. And I listened to it. I was like, yeah, that doesn't suck for popular music. Maybe I should blast it now that I've got the Spotify. So now I'm in the hub world, and it is giving me serious Let It Die vibes because it's got, oh, there's just pool table. Oh, my God. We got Guy Fieri's refrigerator. Oh, my God. Oh, no. <laughs> If uh, if 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 God darn Bloodborne is uh, Anthony Bourdain, this game's Guy Fieri. No, it's not quite that. Look at Guy Fieri's uh, dad's car here too. Hey, uh, like your hat. Oh, we got some sofas to sit on while we blast. Or My Chemical Romance on the jukebox. A bed to sleep in. Uh, can somebody play the piano while I sleep? This lady just standing here busting out her shirt next to my candles where I can sleep in full knowledge that someone busting out their shirt is nearby protecting me. I like this base and the people in it. Ever take a bath surrounded by fire? Welcome to the resistance, friend. A hot spring? It says you. You means hot water. Oh, mobility affects your dodge movement. That's not quite what I expected to be told immediately upon entering the relaxation zone. Let's see how nude my character gets. Shut me off, Twitch! Oh my god! Ah. Oh. Let me uh, slip out of this towel. Oh, yeah. Hey, what's up, hat lady? Can I Can I crawl around in the water? I can't. I can look back on my past memories in the hot spring. You know, that is actually pretty accurate to what I do in the shower. Shout me out in the comments if you've ever just given up and sat down on the floor of the shower. Shout me out in the comments if you didn't know there was any other way to take a shower. <laughs> right? There are two people in the world. There are people who give up and sit down on the floor of the shower. And they're pathological liars. <laughs> right. That's my, uh, my riff on an old classic. I believe I'm ripping somebody's, uh, joke off. Somebody made a joke similar to that before. Uh, some stand-up comedian. I mean, I, I, that's the reason I can't ever be a stand-up comedian is because... I don't. I, I. I. just have such high standards for originality. I abstain so religiously from the utterance of cliches, even while speaking live on a stream. I can't meme. I can't do it. I can't even. I hear the childrens and the teens and the youths, even the twenty-somethings insipidly conversing over beverages in congregation zones. I'm talking about public places, friendo. I hear them and they sound like they're reading from a god darn script for a cartoon that's going to get cancelled tomorrow. You fools. Ask yourself in the middle of some words, can I say this better? Would I say this again? I'm just leveling myself up. Mumby is female. That's all we need to know. Mumby is female and she looks good and she's not going to apologize for how good she looks. Anyway, someone in the chat asked, what do I think of the Dragon Quest 1, 2, and 3 remakes being released for the Nintendo Switch today? 
I think they're nonsense garbage. They run at 30 FPS. The graphics are an abomination, and there's a mix of multiple styles. You've got pixel art for the backgrounds. You've got weirder pixel art for the characters, and then you've got this bizarre Malaysian flash game looking hand-drawn 2D during the battles. Nonsense trash. Overpriced it. I'm a fool. I'll buy them anyway. And Dragon Quest III is one of the best video games of all time. The Japanese title is Soshite Densetsue. And then, Unto Legend. Uh, I don't know what the English title is. It's probably like job classes of the jocular civilians or whatever. Anyway, thanks for tuning in if you tuned in. If you're watching this archived on YouTube, you're still my friend just at a different time of day. Until next time, and will there be a next time? Well, that all depends on what the meteorite hovering above my house has to say tonight. Is it going to take my head off? Is it going to take my arm off or is it going to just take down my thumbs we'll find out I was born stupid however I will not die hungry video games forever Kotaku Crunchwrap Supreme Toasted Cheddar Chalupa <laughs>